welcome back to Soul Canyon Kitchen. Ciao tutti. Today we're making vegan buttermilk biscuits. And we have been experimenting because we wanted to find really the, the best, best <laughs> the best recipe for you guys because we're tough judges if you haven't figured that out by now. And these meet our standards. For sure. And we're actually gonna split the recipe in two yep. um, because one of us is gonna make our biscuits herb with some fresh rosemary and thyme. From the garden, of but course. you don't need to do that. But it's really delicious. So let's get started. Let's get started. Okay, we're gonna add our flour to our big bowl. Yep. Adding all of our dry ingredients together yeah. to start. So you do those two, I'll do this one. Oh. This is salt, and salt. I've got what, which one? I have soda, yep. baking soda, baking powder, and baking powder. Yep. Put the amounts down below or on the website. Yep. Okay. Cool. So you Let's whisk all these puppy around. dry ingredients together. And then we're gonna build a little well inside because we're gonna add our vegan buttermilk. Yeah. And the way you make this, mm -hmm. isn't it cool? How yeah, you so easy. Make, yeah, you this can. is a really easy recipe. Let's just say that up front. Really easy, like seven ingredients, maybe. Yeah. And it's, yeah, it's super easy. But it's one and a half cups of uh, soy milk, uh -huh. used, right? Mm -hmm. And how much lemon juice? It was a tablespoon and a I half. I think a tablespoon and a half. Of yeah, and you just make a little well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just want to show them yeah. that this becomes buttermilk because it becomes thick. Mm -hmm. It's so much thicker than just regular soy milk at this point. I'm going to stick that in the sink. Okay, here we go. Put that in. Mm -hmm. Nice and chilled because you need your butter cold. That's what makes, that's one of the really important things in making biscuits. And we did it so easy. We shredded our butter with yeah. just a grater. And we just want to do this gently, gently, right? Gently, yeah. No, because we're wanting those, like you really kind of like it when those layers break apart, but you also need it to stick together. It's kind of like a, a happy balance. Get We're that. folding this so we get those little flaky layers. Yeah, That's really is, the point of this. Yeah, this in, in bread baking, it's called lamination for a whole different reason, mm. but it kind of traps air between the layers and it makes in a biscuit, it makes them flaky. And at this point, you want to nicely flour your surface. Might as well use this, huh? Yep. These things are so handy. Aren't they? That's my, one of my, I'd say that's my favorite. Best investment of 2020. 2020. It's funny you said that, because that's my favorite thing of 2020. It's so okay. good. We'll do a couple. You know what? I'm going to add some herbs at this point. What do you think? Yeah, and fold, I would, yeah, And exactly. then I'll fold them in. Exactly. We're keeping it super casual. We're using uh, like mason jar tops. This size makes me feel like, oh, that back for more rather than like all right i had one big biscuit well this one makes me feel better because i can say i only had one biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> it's double the size. except i know myself and i know i'm not just stopping at one exactly still eating two of these sounds better than two yeah. of the small ones
One last thing, we almost forgot to brush butter, melted butter on the top of our biscuits, which is, I think, an important step. It is. Thank you, Miyoko. Yeah, can't wait till it's melting in my mouth. Ooh, me in between my biscuit. <laughs> okay, get your herbs on. Yeah. All pushed together? Yeah, they're yeah. all. And then while you hold them, oh, right. I'm just going to stick a little thumb. Reason being? They, this, doing this just helps them rise the same amounts because if they one rises, then it doesn't look like a biscuit. Yeah. It's a big ball. But that's why you push them together because it helps them lift up instead of spread out. Beautiful. All right, let's put them in the let's oven. Do it. 20 minutes. All right, we'll check back in like 15 though. Okay, time for a taste test. Our favorite. Yeah, one. the best part. Yeah, so we ended up cooking them for 20 minutes at 450. Yeah, we checked we them a couple times. Turned them around. Turned up, turned around the tray. And we want to show you because see how they're nice and golden on the bottom, uh -huh. golden on the top. But look at these flaky layers though. That and is what. I call that a success. Haven't even tasted it yet, see? but. And we're usually the wow. flavor layer person, mm -hmm. but this is flaky the layers. flaky layer importance here. Mm -hmm. All okay, right. Okay, so we got to try part of each, Margo. So yeah. I'll go, we're going to just do butter and jelly, right? Yeah. But we have the rosemary herb one mm -hmm. and the plain. Mm -hmm. So let me get you buttered up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we're also going to put the, the jam on the herb one because why not, right? Exactly. Okay, here's a plain one. All right, taste test. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Approved. Mm. 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 Now you don't have to put the butter in, but because there's butter, but why not? I want it. They're so good. Oh, there. That's really. Um, I don't know. It's flaky, mm -hmm. and it's like that nice little crust. Mm -hmm. Very buttery. Mm -hmm. mm. Still a little moist on the inside. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's delicious. Now I know people are saying butter and jelly on rosemary and thyme. Oh. And I'm saying yes. Mmm. Oh my god. I like the herb one with the butter and jelly even more. Wow. But that's because we're flavor layer mm -hmm. and flaky oh layer people. Right away. It's flaking off. <laughs> oh my god. Flaking. Margo, you're flaking on me. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Damn. I love the herb one. Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. The herb yeah. The the first is delicious. The herb one. Make the herb one. Um. <laughs> the other's good. If you want to do gravy, I still would do the rosemary because I put rosemary and thyme in my gravy. Mm -hmm. And if it's good with jam, mm. why wouldn't you? Only way you would do it is if you're a person, like I'm sure Lloyd may pick the other one because I'm just a really, I love herbs, yeah. aromatic herbs. But look, look at how flaky Margo, look at that. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna keep this, I want a photo of that. That's a good photo right there. Mm -hmm. Was this yours or mine? This is mine. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got a last little piece. Oh, this is amazing. I want more jam. I love it for you. Okay. Wow. Why not? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Mm. That is so wow. good. Wow. Oops. Success. Mm. Wow, that is great. You know, I never really grew up eating biscuits a lot. I've had them when I went out. Mm -hmm. Before I always like anything pastry like mm -hmm. or bread like. I love stuff like that anyway. But these are really good. Just afternoon. If I'm not, I love. Or morning. Oh my god, the herbed with like a 
Beyond Sausage. Oh, Herb. yeah. Beyond Sausage. Ooh. And what about Thanksgiving, which is gravy over the top? Mm -hmm. Just plain old open them up and mm -hmm. pour your gravy on. Or stuffing on the top with a little wow. gravy. Could be like your, anyways, they're delicious. Approved. Approved. Wow. Damn. Mmm. Mmm. And stay tuned for the soul question. Soul question, your turn. What is your favorite weather? Favorite weather? Well, I love kind of fall weather, mm. but we live in California and I feel gypped every year because <laughs> we don't get fall. It goes from hot August to hot September to hot October uh -huh. with fires. Hot uh, October with fires. And next thing you know, it, it's colder. Right. And I really love the nights that are getting cold with a little hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. And I like a fall fashion. Mm. I like to wear a hat uh -huh. and a gloves. And We're hat people. We are hat people. And I love fall fashion more yeah. than anything. So yeah. a cool jacket. Yeah. And I like always like you, I don't like being cold, mm -hmm. but I like being warmed in something yes. and cold on the outside. Uh -huh. I like sleeping in colder weather. I like wearing warmer things and having it cold mm -hmm. out. So I'm going to say that favorite day is probably 68 to 72 uh -huh. with a chilly morning and night mm -hmm. and then nice little nice. bit of sun in the daytime. Yeah. yeah. That's my favorite. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta agree that I love the first, first signs of autumn in the air. Just that first bit of crispness in the morning or at night. Um, yeah, I, and I all can our, admit that. Yeah. all our East Coast friends are laughing because yeah. they're like, you don't have a fall. Yeah. There's no color changes, yeah. but we have our own changes. Yeah, I feel it in the air. Yeah, me too. Good. 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 Okay, three, two, one. Hold on, I don't know why I'm laughing. Because <laughs> we've forgotten so much. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs>